So I'm just going to pull up some slides that I used at Beyond Hope. Um, because we did talk a little bit about um, some of the things that Kay would have been updating on, so I thought it might be a useful opportunity to um, do a bit of a plug for the UNUD Canada. There's a lot on here. It's <laughs> <laughs> all of my daughter's assignments. <laughs> about a lot of things at Beyond Hope that I will not talk about here. Um, it's green. It is the green. It is. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Okay, so I, I just wanted to, you know, sort of address some of the, the publisher issues that, that Sarah highlighted um, and uh, you know, kind of talk about how um, Libraries are responding to more restrictive publisher licensing terms. Um, so there are a couple of publisher initiated changes that, uh, actually quite a few, and, and a couple in the past week. Um, and I've listed them here. I won't go over them. Um, I think Sarah did a great job about running all of those. Um, but there are two projects that I will uh, mention. One uh, is called the Panorama Project. And the other is the one you read Canada, which we're currently participating in. Um, so for those of you who haven't heard of the Panorama Project, it's actually a US-based US project um, that describes itself as a data-driven approach to understanding libraries and their impact on publishing. Um, they have an advisory council that's made up of publishers, uh, librarians, booksellers, and related service organizations like Overdrive and a &A. Um their research goals are to do a comprehensive study on the impact of public libraries on book sales with specific questions around uh, libraries' roles in discovery, author brand development, and retail sales. Um, so they published a report in November 2018, and they looked at one of Overdrive's big library read events. Um, and for those of you who might not know what big library read is, it's um, a digital book club that um, Overdrive libraries participate. Um, and it features um, the book on the front page of everybody's Overdrive page, and it's an unlimited simultaneous use copy of that title. Uh, so they collected data on the chosen title from a few sources. So they used U.S. Book Scan retail book sales data, U.S. Public Library ebook circulation data, and uh, I'm stepping on my toes. <laughs> Uh, and they looked at uh, the data from before, during, and after the campaign. Um, they also looked at sales data provided by publishers and some social media data. Um, so the, they looked at the Big Library Read campaign from April 2018, um, and the title was Flat Broke with Two Goats by Jennifer Magaha. Um, and that event ran from April 2nd to 16th, April 2nd to 16th, 2018. Um, and what they did was they compared the data for that title before, and they compared the same data after the campaign. Um, and I, on the slide, you'll see, if you can see it, uh, some pretty significant um, uh, impacts, uh, particularly, uh, I'll highlight the retail sales impact. There's an 818% growth in ebook sales um, during that campaign, so that's huge. That's a huge, it's a huge message to send to publishers around what libraries actually do for, for sales. Uh, similarly, the print sales went up over 200% during the campaign period. So it's, it's not insignificant. It's quite, uh, quite a market um, impact that libraries have on uh, publisher sales. Um, so One Year Read Canada, which is the CULC initiative that I think Kay would have been talking about, um, so Canadian libraries kind of ask the same question, like what is the impact of uh, what we do uh, on, on, on publisher sales? Um, so uh, to answer that question, this is when you read Canada is the response. Uh, so that program launched a couple of weeks ago, I think June 6th or 3rd, um, and it's running for almost the whole month of June. Um, 
on your overdrive front page is a uh, title Glass Beads by Don Dumont. Um, it's an unlimited simultaneous use copy. Um, and libraries are currently reporting their um, circulation stats week by week. Um, so yes, the recent methodology is similar. Um, and that title actually is not just available through Overdrive, it's also on Cloud Library and the audiobook provider, RB Digital. And Hoopla. Oh yeah, and Hoopla. Thank you. <laughs> I actually have that here. <laughs> um, so Kulk is uh, taking that pre and post circulation data. So all of the libraries reported how their usage was on that particular title, as well as the author's other titles. Um, and then they will look at um, how the circulation uh, went, uh, and then also working with publisher with the publisher and uh, uh, Booknet Canada to uh, measure sales impact as well. Uh, and they'll also look at uh, media coverage and social media activity. Uh, so that's my kind of quick update that somewhat related to what Kay was uh, talking about. I do have some time for questions if anybody has. You know what there might be, but I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so uh, Emily was asking if there was any update about the lobbyist lobbying that uh, work that Culp has been working with, um, and I don't know the answer to the question. But I'm happy to post like ask Kay, and she can include that in her update. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Emily.